What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Viking Squad, where we're actually like... Ow. I just got beat up by a howling goat. Looks like they go whatever direction you smack them in. I like the noise that they make. There. Is there any meat in this bush? Damn it. That's a question I've asked myself at the club before. Uh, we got like a mega treasure. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a shiny helmet. None of the helmets we've found thus far have been that shiny. We will note. Ooh, I can ride a buffalo? Oh, shit. It's buffalo time! Oh, no, there's undeadses. I've been knocked off my buffalo. Sorry, you're just not that talented little goblin thing that looks like it's made. You don't drop any meat, though. I don't really like the mounts. Like, I get what they're going for with the mounts. The mounts are supposed to be somewhat like you were playing Golden Axe again, because Golden Axe was one of the first beat-em-up games I ever remember with having, like, mounts inside of it that you would get on. But the mounts, are limit they limit my agility, and sometimes I get hit, you know what I mean? I can't be doing that right now. I'm trying to stay strong. So we got eight treasures total, 26 gold. Who is this big green guy, though, that we're giving all of our stuff to, and why are we so concerned with his wealth? Uh, we definitely want... Oh, we get new shoulder pads, too? What? Our armor changes? Dude, we are baller now. Oh, my God. My life just changed for the better. I don't even care that I don't have any money for anything else. That was dope. I didn't realize our shoulder pads were going to upgrade, too. See, I like games that have, like, physical changes in your character as you go through and level up. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it more than I should. It's very, very enjoyable. So it looks like I can rune level three times now. We gotta go back to the docks. We were at the docks, and I think last time we traded in a giant golden barrel thing with like a spout, like a little fart spout on top of it. It had a fart vent on top of it, okay? I was a roofer, that's what those are called. They're called fart vents because they go on bathrooms. That's what we always called them, anyways. They'd be like, oof. Yeah, I got a, that back gable over there. I gotta put that fart vent in a little bit later. And like nobody would laugh. That's just what we called it. They were called a fart vent. Alright, come over here and ensorcel this fish wagon, yes. Go ahead. Do your devious thing that you're gonna do. Dude, I can do that three times now? This helmet is so baller! Why even use normal attacks anymore, you know? Just, jug <laughs> just juggle things. <laughs> I, am as I am all that is Viking Woman. Look upon me in fear, non-Viking individuals. Individuals who do not share my heritage shall be smited. Uh, uh. Uh, exactly. We juggle combo fools to death out here. No! And then we apparently get stabbed. Oh. No, the perfect combo. He got me with the snowball and then I got stomped out. I could really, really, really use more meat though. So if there's meat laying around, just be aware, enemies of the crown enemies of the me that I would love to have it yay I like how the treasure spots come back too so the levels are always interesting you don't have to like grind your way through like the treasure spots continue to exist every single time that you play all right big shell guys it's time for you to get beat down ow this episode this shell beating brought to you by British Petroleum Oh, I felt like that was my. I felt like I had him right there. Like I really felt good about that combo. Oh man, I need that right there very badly. I'm trying to keep my health back up because I only got the one potion. So if the boss of this level ends up being somewhat tumultuous for me, I'd like to save the potions for that situation rather than burning them right now. I got no keys left, so I can't get into there. I think last time it was just a crown anyways. I don't think keys drop in-game. I think you're just expected to buy them. Break that open. I mean, I can give you coin, man, but I'm not trying to go back to that island right now. We did get a pretty badass helmet, though, for our efforts over there. Uh-huh. That's how we do it. And then we do the big old stompy combo. Get a free coin for whooping that ass. Don't run away. I know you've got a shoulder guard and it makes you start feeling yourself. You're like, ooh, I'm in the building and I'm feeling my shell. If I had armor like that, I'd like to assume that people would respect me more. Like, as a human being, 
like in traffic, they would think twice before talking to me the way that they do. Now we gotta decide if we want to carry the big treasure to the end or not. I think I will. Just because it's something to work on. And it really doesn't take that much effort. Like, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Oh, you guys messed up this time. Yep, you guys messed up bad. Once I got you all on the deck. Ooh, you can. You do get you get iframes. When you dodge, you get iframes. I never noticed that before. Yeah. You get big time iframes. It gives you wild iframes. So if you don't know what an iframe is, basically in old video games, an iframe is anything that makes you invulnerable while it's in effect. And so it's a frame of animation that you cannot take damage or interact like with enemy attacks during that time. Like you're fine. Nothing can hurt you. The iframe is small in this one, but it's not that small. It's large enough to where it can definitely be exploited. Alright, come on, let's transfer this over to there. And we will follow it on over. It looks like we've got to do another raft level. This is pretty standard fare for fighting games as well. Ooh. I will absolutely enjoy that meat forever. I like how my weapon has like a little dangly star on it that actually like interacts based on physics. Like, it moves freely. It's not animated that way. Like, it's actually on, like, a little spindle, basically. Graphically, and it does its own thing. I do like how enemies are vanquished when you knock them into water, too. It's nice for once as the hero of the game to only be marginally affected by water while my enemies really, really, really suffer the adverse effects. I prefer that you just get knocked up into the air. Once again, another sentence that really kind of hinged on what the last word was going to be. I'm not trying to knock up these bear men right now. That would require way too much physical effort. And honestly, I'm having kind of a lethargic day. Feeling a little sweaty, feeling a little bit just under motivated. Checkpoint. Pay my rent yesterday. That kind of sucked. Can I pick this up from here? There we go. When I went in, this guy was like, "Oh, see, you're here. You're about to turn your wealth into. You're about to turn your wealth into deficit, huh?" And I was like, "Definitely. I'm here to turn my inputs into outputs." So what do these guys do? One assumes that they do something altogether unpleasant. Okay, so he does. Oh shit! Oh, and he's in the background doing that. Okay. I'd like to think I could juggle him a little bit. I don't know if I can juggle both. But if I can stay on them, they don't seem like they're that diff- There. They're not that difficult, I could tell. They've got a flinch animation. Most enemies that have a flinch in games like this tend to be pretty easy. In fact, ooh, we unlocked the rune and the rune regen. Basically, it's a less good version of the one that we have. It's okay, though, because I like to have a fully populated... I, I like it. Oh, we can go into the bar, can't we? Or we can turn in the treasure over here. Huh, that's what it's going to... We can either go into the bar or we can turn in this treasure right here. Um... I honestly don't know what the right choice is, but for now, let's get a couple potions, and I guess we'll try to go into the bar while carrying this. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Good. Okay, never mind then. It's not even that big of a deal. Should be nice and easy. I'm gonna try and whack as many of these little dudes as I can to get my fury meter up. Wipe out some tables and chair. I don't even know what those guys... Are you throwing tankards at me? Like, what the hell is happening right now? <laughs> so as I was saying, in Streets of Rage 2, you could actually beat most of the game. There was a perfect timing. I don't know if you ever played Monster Hunter before, but Lancers in Monster Hunter could stun lock enemies, the original Monster Hunter. You can stun lock in... You can pretty easily stun lock effect in Streets of Rage 2 as well if you time light punches properly. I think Axel it works for. It works for Axel. It works for Blaze. And I'm pretty sure... It works for Axel. It works for Blaze. Don't know if it works for Max, though. Actually, I don't play Max very often. I would call Max the one giant blind spot in my Streets of Rage knowledge. I just don't like him as a character. He's too big. His frames are too large, and he just gets hit by everything. And while he hits harder, he's so immobile. 
Like, I've never liked the fact that he doesn't have, like, a little, like, dash-type deal. Or an ability that basically digs him out of a corner. He's got that big roll thing, I think, that he does, but he's just not my favorite. My favorite's Axel, because Axel has the Dragon Claw uppercut. And the Dragon Claw uppercut allows you to just mash through enemies. Basically, you just spam forward, forward, B, forward, forward, B, forward, forward, B, forward, forward, B, over and over and over again. And you can cut your way across an entire map pretty easily without taking any damage. Stops working against some of the later enemies, like the boxers and the kickboxers and whatnot, because they start throwing up blocks. But until you get to the point where the enemies can block, you're in fairly decent shape. Yeah, everybody's feasting around here. Uh-huh, you know I'm not about to let that happen. Can I break this fish right here? I can. Ooh, attack plus plus plus. I like the sound of that. That's the amount of attack that I like to hear. An attack so nice you get it thrice. Definitely not trying to play around with my mortality and catch it hit from this big bastard. There we go. I got the one in the back. Didn't quite get the one in the front, but should be able to combo him down before anything else goes wrong. The other thing that I very much liked about Streets of Rage is that the combo system in that game was ridiculously deep. I don't know if it was done on purpose. I've never seen a developer interview about the development of Streets of Rage 2. But, like, inside the confines of that game, it was just amazing how well a lot of things blended together and just worked. This guy wants coin, but what does he want coin for? So 60 coin and he'll give us a fuzzy hat. You know, I don't think I need fuzzy hats right now. I think I'm solid on fuzzy hat wear. Oh, these guys are like... Oh, shit. Yikes. I think we found an enemy that's a credible threat. That dude just worked like half my health down in one combo. I don't know if maybe you can charge out of it. Or you can dash out of it, but that would be something we'd probably want to figure out sooner rather than later. Uh, let's go like so. It seems like we're going to be have access to a whole bunch more... I think we're going to have access to a lot more of the Fury Globes. So I'm not going to concern myself too heavily with spending them. Oh, never mind then. That was a mistake. The bartender. Alright, barkeep, what do you do? Basically, I've got a ranged attack now, so it's not really that difficult just to run in circles around these dudes and just hit them with what I got. Oh, you can't charge through them, though. So you can charge through most enemies, but you can't charge through some of the bosses, and it's going to take some getting used to. Oh, he's got a block, too. Oh, shit. What did that do? Like, it didn't seem like it hurt that much, but it hurt enough. I think I can get some damage off, but... That big bursty thing he does has me a little bit worried. You gotta jump over it. Oh, and once you jump over it... Ooh, big claw right there. Okay, take a potion real fast because we're right. We gotta be careful. Got over that one. What I do like is that upswing right there. Actually, it's pretty useful against bosses now that I'm looking at it because it gives you aerial mobility. Like, you can actually change your trajectory in midair, and that allows you to strike and then get away from an enemy really, really fast. What did he drop? We also survive with our weird little fish barrel thing. Oh, cool. So we can take the trophy, or we can take the fish barrel. I'm going to take the trophy. Oh, the fish barrel came with us. Hooray! I don't feel bad about this anymore. Good for us. What's going on in here? There's nothing back behind that wall. I figured I'd check just in case. The cellar. This is a really long level. Like, this is a super long level. Oh shit, there's like Donkey Kong barrels. Okay. 
I didn't see that coming at all. Oh, he's got the dash attack, too. Having trouble lining up with him, though. There it is. Cool. He's down. Got a few more adversaries that need to be dealt with, but I think we'll be all right. I, I would have liked to have been able to turn in my treasure a little sooner than this, though. Like, we're... Pretty deep into this level right now. There we go. The traps interact with the enemies on this map. I don't think you want to go that way, Chief. Smack him, get his Fury Globe, just in case I gotta dig myself out of a bad situation. Oof, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get that last attack off. I tried to, I baited it. I got greedy and I really, really wanted it. And so I figured if I wrote it out, it might turn out okay, but you can never really tell with some of this stuff. Yeah, let's get you out of the way now. My regen is pretty solid at the moment. I like that combo too. That's pretty fun. You can actually do like a X, Y, Y, and that'll like clear the skies too. It actually works pretty well as an aerial denial attack. Oh, nope, can't be getting that. No, right now, that's like one of the worst things that could happen. Absolutely not. That's right. Take some damage and sit tight. Out of here, you doggish reprobate. Got him. I was trying to get my reflex up right there because I knew they were going to pop in at the end. What? This little alcove does something. Hmm. I felt like a big boulder or something was going to come. You had to hide inside of there, like Ninja Turtle style. Oh, this guy wants the fight trophy, huh? What's he want the fight trophy for? Oh, it's for like an underground bat. Oh, there's like a concert. Doesn't look like I can get on stage. I was going to try, but game don't love me like that. That seems like a good enough light up for them. Oh, they've got lyrics now. It's mostly just grunting, as was to be expected from Viking songs, but... <laughs> the game's lagging out on me. That's funny. There's too much shit going on. The game's getting too exciting. Definitely can't be doing that right now. Let's not get comboed on like that. Oh my god, the lag is so real right now. lag is so super real right there. Alright, so after that horrible defeat, we're back. It actually turns out my hard drive was crashing, so that's, well, if anything was going to end a playthrough, you know what I mean, like dying to drop frames from your, from your, it wasn't the game's fault though, you got to bring that up a little bit later after you do your investigating. But yeah, apparently my hard drive died, so that was that. Ooh, attack plus plus plus. I've just got rune attack up right now, like technically we could have attack plus 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 plus. I'm going with the tag plus 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 plus. Okay, plus plus plus. What does this hit for? Damn, I destroyed the bag. Can I pick it up? Ah, take that bag. I hate you. Training is difficult, therefore I am filled with irrational rage. So we've got Rune Plus Plus, Rune Regen is faster on that one too, and considering how clutch the Rune Attack seems to be, might be worth having. I'm going to collect the outfits though, I think. Actually, no, let's do some leveling up because we finally got stomped out. We can charge our attack with Y, but at that point everything's going to get more expensive. Eh, might be worth it. 
we'll see what happens with that in the future. I'm going to buy some keys so that we can get into some of the back doors and whatnot. Remaining treasure will be lost if you leave town. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can... Oh, I can convert them into coins. Shit. I forgot I got the coin converter. We'll set sail on a voyage. How far did we make it? Oh, it actually counted these as unlocks. Okay. I can live with that. We'll go back and we'll do the cellar and we'll see if maybe we can cleave our way through here. Honestly, the back part of that fight was a little rough for us just because my health was in a weird spot. There we go. We'll knock these dudes out. We got attack plus, plus, plus now, though. I can't imagine. Man, if those guys catch you with a combo, you are done. Fair warning, though, you can dash out of it, in case you were wondering. You can dash out of that combo right there, and you'll be okay. It's just, you gotta know to do it. Get those guys out of the sky, because I don't fancy aerial attacks raining down on me. Go after him. I do kind of want to charge this. So you don't have to charge it all the way. You don't have to wait for the sound effect to be over or anything like that. You can release it a little bit early. Oh, we got a rage thing. Well, that makes me happy. Also full of rage. But mostly happy. That means we need to beat down as many people as we can before this power-up falls off. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody beating me up in here. I got my rage face on. I like how it has little wingly things, too, for the helmet. Like, if you look at the side of the rage face, it's got little wingly things to match your helmet. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, another one. Yes, please. I will never turn down further ass-kicking adventures. I don't have the treasure from the previous map, so I really I can't participate in the thing that we got killed doing last time. And it's probably not a good idea to do so anyways. This seems to be one of those games that you could play really, really obsessively, though, to unlock everything. I like how it just makes her dash all the time. Like, when she's got her rage face on, I don't have to double tap or anything to dash. Oh, I was clear of that one. Shenanigans, I was so clear of that one. I gotta go back and watch the tape on that one. I feel like I was really clear. This guy wants to trade on oh, a frying pan. Okay. There's always a... F Sometimes I don't even have an excuse. It's just like a thing that happened, and I don't really know what to tell you about it. Ooh, he dropped meat, though. I will absolutely take that. Ooh, beat the treasure out of that guy. Ah, super attack. Why not? We haven't used one today. Who doesn't love a super attack every now and again? I'm going to chase this dude down with a quickness. Ah. I do, however, need all this meat, and I would like to get my fury orbs back, too. Woohoo. Barely got out of trouble right there. I smacked that dude's little John hat off. That sucks. Not like Little John, like, yeah, yeah. Not that Little John, like the Robin Hood Little John. He got like the Little John hat, but. Oh shit. He's back and he's got a neck brace this time. Poor bastard. Oh, he throws barrels, so that's gonna be fun to deal with. I also have no heals, so that will also be a challenge to be grappled with. Oh, he throws them so quick, too. Still does a stompy attack, though. Basically, if he point blanks you... Oh, no, I... I, I press trigger! Oh, man! I'll see y'all in the next episode. I gotta go lay down for a while. Bye!